Detroit rapper Big Homie was charged after flashing illegal guns on Instagram Live. And one of the guns is linked to seven different shootings. Now, my he question got, is, when he, he got charged for uh, flashing a gun on Instagram Live. And one of the guns was involved in seven didn't shoot, seven different shootings. Yep. Mm hmm. See ya. No, why you do that? <laughs> why you do that? Why do you, why is that so important? I, I'll never understand that, man. I'll never understand why it's so important to flash guns in on Instagram Live. Knowing the feds and police monitor Instagram Live like they do the stop, like a stop sign, like a schoolyard. Uh -huh. there. Now you got some attention, all right. You got some attention. You got the attention of the police, and they're gonna they're gonna do their best to try and pin one of them shootings on you. Mm -hmm. And depending yep. on what, what the outcome, any of them sh shootings uh, resulted in a murder or attempted murder, you but you either you're gonna become a victim or a snitch, one or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either you're gonna become a victim of the system or you're gonna become a snitch. Where you get the gun from? I don't know. Well far they know it's your gun. Anybody, it's your gun. I caught you with it. Everything happened to this gun, you're responsible for. It. Mm -hmm. Okay? Unless that gun was reported stolen at some point in time. And um, even with the portal stolen, they still gonna put try to hang you with the shit or put enough pressure on your ass where you're gonna start talking, making up shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gonna start yeah. making up shit. Okay, Popeye, Mickey Mouse, and Donald Duck shot them people. I wasn't even nowhere around. It wasn't even, it was goofy. It was uh, it was wimpy. You gonna make up some shit. Okay, I'll start talking. Mm. And that's how, the, that, this is how you get caught up in shit. That you that you don't have to be caught up in, man. You you caught up in some shit you don't have to be in. You chose to be in that shit by flashing them guns at that point in time. You don't have to have that problem, but you made you made a problem for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I know I know you've seen those music videos where there's a bunch of dudes pointing their guns at the camera, you know, while they're recording their their music video. Um, how scary of a job is it to be that video camera guy with all those guns pointed at you? I would want to be. I would want to be in the video nowhere near with guys got a bunch of guns like that. I'm gonna, nah. tell you, I'm gonna tell you a true story. One of my buddies is a lawyer. He was telling me he just got back from uh, San Bernardino. He had to go to the court for a young man. He uh, was at a music video. At the music video, somebody bought a bunch of guns. It was supposed to be BB guns. Well, somebody bought a real gun to the set. And the young guy was playing with his gun, waving it around, waving it around. He waved the gun in the young lady's face, and the, the lady slapped the gun, which slapped the gun out of his face, out of his hand, and the gun went off and blew her head off. True story. Blew her head off. She was 17 years old, dead, fell dead right there. He panicked, took off, took off running. Everybody took off running. Um, the gun allegedly was brought by an OG, but the youngster who was 15. Wouldn't tell who brought the gun. So guess who got the beef? The uh, man saw the beef. He did. Damn, okay. man. So this is the problem you have when you are perpetrating and not knowing what you're doing. I mean, it was it was a it was a it was, a, it was an accident because the gun was loaded and somebody died. Ain't no accidents like that. Okay, mm. waving the gun around, slap the gun, gun go off, bam. Young lady has no head. Ah, damn, man. Mm. True That's story. Crazy. That's crazy. True story. Yeah. So when, you, when you see these kind of situations, man, it makes you not want to be involved in that kind of stuff because too much stuff can go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be involved in a lot of stuff. I have people, even to this day, like they'll, you know, they'll call me. I have friends, you know, who's still out doing dumb shit or whatever. You know, people in my life, and they'll, you know, they'll they'll call me and start talking to me about shit they do. I'll be like, don't uh, stop, stop right there. I, I don't know who, if the feds are film, video recording it, like, stop right there. I don't care what, I don't care about any of that. Let's talk about the park that we will be doing this Saturday, you know? Dude, I've had guys come, I was at the club. I got. I heard all kind of who shot John. Now I don't want to hear nothing. Don't mm -hmm. tell me, I don't want to know nothing. I didn't want to be mm -hmm. in your business. If you did that, I don't want to know nothing about it, man, because I don't, because if you get out, I don't want to be one of the people that, you can say, oh, I told Lonzo. I no, mm -hmm. don't tell Lonzo shit. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. If I didn't participate, I don't need to know about it. Don't try to impress me with your bad doing bad doing your doing your bad act, badass shit mm -hmm. and get me caught up in your bullshit. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's the big problem. You you're trying to impress somebody, all of a sudden next thing you know, this person is, is caught up in your shit and now you got to watch your back. Cause he didn't told somebody you didn't told somebody what you did. Now if it was the court, whatever. Nah, no, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get subpoenaed over here. You telling me right. that you about it three weeks ago. I had a situation at the club one time. Some guys got to fighting, and uh, they want it's, it's, they wanted to kill a dude. I'm like, dude, I got cameras everywhere. Don't you can't kill him over here, okay? You, yeah, I, and and, the, and I don't have control over the goddamn the recorder, okay? So all you gonna do is record yourself shooting somebody and want me to try and work a miracle to save your ass. Don't do it. It ain't mm. worth the hassle. Man, big homie, you right. You big, big homie, you right. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you.